Hey everyone, what's up? This is Blaze. Welcome to a, another Wizard 101 update video. So for today, I saw that recently in the Crown Shop they updated and added some new things. And at first, I didn't even know like what it was. I was kind of just looking around because I knew House of Palooza was going on, but I didn't know they added like some new uh, like a new house and well, it's, it's a new plot, I guess. And then uh, some furniture set type of things. So to start off, I think we're just gonna explore the new Avalon Castle plot. And what this is is it is a house, but it allows you to be able to build uh, with the creating like castle different pieces. So to view it, all you have to do, you don't have to buy it. Uh, because <laughs> I obviously have no crowns right now, so I'm not going to buy it. Plus, I probably don't even want to really buy it because I don't think I would build on it. I did build when the first Create a Castle thing came out. But other than that, I haven't really been too Hello into there. that. Welcome to the Avalon Castle plot. Avalon Castle plot. To the untrained eye, this may look like an empty lot. But to someone with a little imagination, it's an entire world of potential. Think of this plot as the perfect blank slate. Here you can use castle blocks to build the fabulous fortress of your dreams. Mm -hmm. It's the definition of a real builder-upper. Okay, so basically what this is, is it's like a plot that you can use to build whatever you want if you have the castle blocks for. And I don't even know, can you get castle blocks? Is there a pack for castle blocks? I kind of feel like there was but I'm not really 100% sure. But I know you can get the castle blocks, obviously, from the bundles. That's where I probably have some, even though I don't use it too much. But, yeah, basically, uh, they added this new castle plot, so that's in the crown shop. And the first thing I noticed when I came here uh, yesterday, when I was just kind of checking it out, was that the bloom here is crazy. I didn't even know this was an option, but one of my friends kind of mentioned it to me. And uh, if I could find it. I think it's in the video, yeah, advanced video options. Okay, bloom active. Just look at what this this castle or this house looks like with the bloom on. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, my eyes are bleeding right now. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, um, we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna quickly turn that off. Look at how much better it looks like without the bloom. So, I always had bloom on. I don't know why. I just never really noticed it because it depends on where you are in wizard. So the other place where the bloom I remember is just like crazy is in Ravenscar and it's kind of at the top of that mountain type of thing and it's like that ice area that is just crazy with the bloom. So I don't know, I didn't really even realize it. I knew it was a option but I didn't know it was that big of a deal and this house definitely it's a big deal. Like if you have bloom on in this house, you uh, yeah, you're going to probably hurt your eyes looking at this because it's crazy. But this is like kind of the main area where you can build out front in the house with uh, the castle blocks that you have. And then I am kind of impressed with the inside because you can go up here and I wonder if you can build kind of anywhere. It's like a pond here. I mean, of course, you can put any furniture items like wherever you want almost. And then uh, let's check up here before we go inside. Now that I'm looking at this thing, I feel like the inside is way bigger than it actually looks like. Like from the outside. Is there anything over here before I before we go inside? There's like a bush. Yeah, I think that's it. So let's go ahead and uh, run inside here, and you can just kind of get an idea of how big this the inside of this place is, because I was surprised when I first saw it. But it's it's cool that they added another castle plot, and it's not a bundle, you know. The other ones, the other castle plots were uh, only available with the uh, the bundles. I actually have a weird pet on right now. Let me go ahead and switch back to, like, Sasha or something. I was, like, hatching. Where's Sasha at? Alright, there's Sasha. So, yeah, look at this place. It's pretty big. It's, like, a cave here and then kind of has, like, an opening uh, over that way. But, yeah, this place is huge. Like, <laughs> it's going to take me a while just to walk up here. But uh, this is kind of similar to the other, like, insides of the castle plots because they want to give you a lot of room to be able to build if you want to do that. You can walk all the way around there. I don't think it leads anywhere, but it's just like an overview of the area. And then uh, another waterfall. The waterfalls, I already checked. There's nothing secret behind the waterfalls, so <laughs> don't bother checking that. And then uh, if you go this way, it leads back outside to the main house. So yeah, this is the new Avalon Castle plot. You can build stuff. Um, what is it? That leads back down there, and then this leads. This is where the bank is. And uh, this leads back outside. So yeah, I thought it was kind of cool they added this. You know, finally, you can get 
like a castle plot without having to buy a bundle Hello for it. There. Okay, what we already definition of a we already went through this. All right, thank you, thank you, Morella, for not uh, speaking for moons. Um, so yeah, uh, the other thing I wanted to look at in the crown shop is the furniture stuff. So I'm not sure how much of this is actually new because I don't really pay attention to the furniture sets, but there are like three furniture sets for a few of the worlds. They have Wizard City, Dragonspire, Mushu, Grizzleheim, and Wisteria, I think. So they added three. I think there's three for everyone. Yeah, there is. So, oh, and Marleybone. I don't know if I mentioned Marleybone. Maybe I did. But yeah, they added these. I'm not sure if they're all new or if some of them are new, but I'm, I'm sure like if at least some of these are. Um, but yeah, they're 4,000 crowns each right now, which is a lot. I don't know. I don't think I would ever actually buy these because uh, as... Many of you probably know I'm not really a housing kind of person. You know, I don't really care about decorating my house at all. <laughs> and um, so the other thing that, I, that was uh, someone showed me that was interesting is if you look at the Wizard City Furniture Set 3, and it's only this one that this happens, and you look at this, look at it quickly, Fire School. It says Fire School at the top of the pack. Watch it when it, when it flips around again. So it says Fire School, Furniture Set 3. Then let's look at Furniture Set 2. So, Wizard City, Furniture Set 2. This one says Wizard City, and then Furniture Set 1 also says Wizard City. So, that was kind of interesting. Um, obviously, this is some kind of... One, it's probably a mistake on their part. Two, it foreshadows that we will probably be seeing uh, school furniture sets in the future. And I think I remember like people talking about that. So, uh, it's kind of just foreshadows seeing school furniture sets like fire you know fire is obviously one and i hope they um release all of them at the same time you know all the schools these uh furniture sets which could be pretty cool like if if it was released i would actually buy that i would actually buy like the life one or storm one and kind of look at the the furniture sets. so that's kind of a foreshadowing of things there there was also a interesting thing today or yesterday or i don't know when it was but there was that new pet that people found uh, what was it called like something wind catastrophe i think it was which was uh, someone found it in the harrowing pack because they hadn't opened it. They like had saved some harrowing packs and then they randomly opened it and got this pet, which wasn't in the harrowing pack back in October and now it's like available. So I don't know. I may uh, see if I can hatch with someone to get that because obviously you can't buy the harrowing pack right now. So kind of some weird things. Then we had like the Selena thing going on with that and uh, I don't really know what that was about, but <laughs> I don't know some weird things going on with uh, Wizard right now. So. Yeah, I'm kind of excited for the school furniture sets uh, whenever those actually come out. But yeah, uh, new of those and the new castle plot are basically what I wanted to go over in this video. So yeah, some new stuff with the whole, what is it called? The House of Palooza is the event that's going on right now. And the uh, Emperor's Attic pack is also like half off, I think. Well, yeah, pretty much. And then uh, what else is on sale? Some houses are on sale. Red Barn Farm. Is the gold on sale? No. Wait, 125? I thought that was a hundred thousand. Did that go up in price? I don't know. What else is on sale? Oh, the uh, the gauntlets are on sale. That's interesting for three fifty. And then uh, some castle stuff. But yeah, that's probably going to do it for this video. So kind of just talking about some random stuff, talking about some new stuff in the crown shop, and uh, you know a little bit a little bit of a look at what we might see in the future uh, future updates for Wizard hopefully this year. And, uh, I mean, we already, that, that hint with the, we're not, it's not even a hint, like, they just accidentally put the pet, or maybe they did it on purpose, I don't know, but, uh, that's kind of a hint at what we might see in the new harrowing pack, so, probably this October they'll update the harrowing pack with new items, rather than making a whole new pack, makes sense, but, yeah, that's enough of me rambling for today, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, make sure to leave a like, uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel for more awesome wizard videos in the future, and other than that, have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.